I am the famous executioner who executed 514 people over 68 years. I am Giovanni Battista Bugatti, the official executioner of the Papal States from 1796 to 1864. Watch until the end for some eerie details. I am the longest serving executioner in the States and am nicknamed Master of Tita, a Roman corruption of Maestro di Giustizia, or Master of Justice. I was born in Senegalia, Italy, in 1779. My father was a blacksmith, and my mother was a seamstress. I had a difficult childhood, and I was forced to work from a young age. When I was 17 years old, I was convicted of robbery and sentenced to death. However, my sentence was commuted to life in prison. I was apprenticed to a master executioner. I learned the trade quickly, and I soon became one of the most skilled executioners in Italy. In 1796, I was appointed official executioner for the Papal States. I served in this role for over 60 years, and I executed hundreds of people, including criminals, political prisoners, and heretics. Before we continue, share this video with a friend, or I may find you next. When not working as executioner, I sold painted umbrellas to tourists and frequented the Church of Santa Maria in Traspontina with my wife. For my own safety, I was not allowed to leave Trastevere at all because of potential threats from family members of the individuals I executed. I treated my responsibilities with the utmost solemnity. When I was spotted crossing the bridge it became a signal to Romans that an execution was due and crowds would gather. In my diary called Memories of an Executioner Written by Himself, I listed 516 patients and several techniques like hanging, beheading with guillotine or axe, quartering. I wrote every detail of every execution, such as the date, name of the convict, accusation, punishment, and last words. For example, I wrote about victim number 85, Bernardino Rinaldi, condemned on October 9, 1805 for killing his wife and her lover. Two years later I wrote about Tommaso Grassi, who killed his brother-in-law because he refused to lend him money. Two executions were deducted from my total number of 516 by historians, so 514 is the official count of executions I carried out. I retired in 1864 at the age of 85 and died a few years later in 1869.